parties used to be awesome. You and your friends would get all your PCs all settled in one person's house and enjoy playing some state-of-the-art multiplayer games like Warcraft 3 or Counter-Strike 1.6. And these were bulky old PCs with CRT monitors, so you know the experience was worth it when those kinds of setups had to be lugged around just for a weekend gaming session. With internet connection growing speedier and more stable by the day and the advent of online multiplayer games, the LAN party phenomenon has all but died out. But despite all these technological advancements, not every gamer has access to high bandwidth internet. Whether it's only temporary or not, many gamers still have to rely on a metered connection in order to play online games. Naturally, this begs the question. Just how much data do modern multiplayer games gobble up? Thankfully, the answer is not much. But not all games are the same, so let's get into specifics. On average, playing online multiplayer games uses about as much internet as streaming music does, which means somewhere between 40 and 100 megabytes per hour. This is just an approximation, of course. There are modern games that require way more data than this, and some that require way less of it. But 40 to 100 megabytes is somewhere in the ballpark of what you should expect with most games. Is this a lot? Well, to answer this question, we need some context. And there's nothing better we could compare this to than video streaming. On average, streaming HD video uses up anywhere between 1 and 3 gigabytes of data per hour. And if we're talking 4K, an hour of streaming could easily require a whopping 7 gigabytes of data. So compared to video streaming, online gaming deals with rookie numbers. With the data it would take to watch a single HD movie, assuming an average runtime of about an hour and a half, and at a low data usage rate of 1 gigabyte per hour, you could game for about 15 hours, provided the game charges 100 megabytes per hour. So things could definitely be worse. Now, we're about to drop some more statistics on you, all of which are approximations by the way, so buckle up. For a more comprehensive list of online games and their data usage per hour, please refer to the article linked in the description. We're assuming many of you here are interested in how much data Fortnite uses up, so we'll start with that. On average, Fortnite requires 100 megabytes of data per hour, same as Battlefield 5, League of Legends, and Smite. Few games on the list require more data per hour than this. Dota 2, for example, is rated at 120 megabytes per hour. This is a bit more, but it's still relatively close to 100 megabytes. But some games exceed that 100 megabytes average by a huge margin. Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Destiny 2 use up 250 megabytes and 300 megabytes per hour respectively. With exceptions like these, you should definitely check what the average for every game is before making any assumptions. On the other side of the spectrum, we have card games like Hearthstone and Gwent that require only a mere 3 and 5 megabytes of data per hour. You could likely play these games 24-7, even with a metered connection, and never run out of data. Lastly, we'll mention the current internet sensation, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, which is rated at around 70 megabytes per hour. Once again, to find the table that lists all of the most popular modern online games and their data usage approximations, you should follow the link in the description. And if the game isn't on the list, or even if it is, you can test out data usage by yourself. In some games, the number will go up or down depending on the number of players or simply the map that you're playing on, but you should quickly get a feel of how quickly it drains data if you remember to check how much you have left every now and again. Just remember to turn off any background processes that could eat away at your finite data. Updates are the absolute worst when it comes to this. Now, we figured we should mention that just having access to ample data does not guarantee you'll be able to play these games smoothly. Stability and latency tend to be more important in these cases than bandwidth and connection speed. If the internet connection isn't stable, your gameplay experience will be erratic and laden with latency. And even if your connection speed is stable, sometimes you'll simply have high latency due to some external factors, like being situated rather far away from the server. When latency gets too high, you'll experience lag and a fast internet connection simply won't help with this, regardless of whether you're playing Destiny 2 or Hearthstone. So don't confuse metered connections with lag. These two are sometimes linked, but they don't necessarily have to be. In any case, lag is never the result of not having enough data left. When the data runs out, your internet connection will die on you altogether. 
And that about does it for this video. In summation, there is no single data usage per hour we can assign to all video games. As we've said, Fortnite uses 100 megabytes per hour. Destiny 2 uses 300 megabytes per hour, while Hearthstone only uses about 3 megabytes per hour. But in any case, online gaming is not as data costly as video streaming. So it's not something you'll have to swear off of in case you do have to make the switch to a metered collection. Just remember to turn off updates if you don't want all of your data disappearing overnight. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, and subscribing to our channel. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.